guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new limited edition Puma King SL Classico. Now, as you can see, it does come in a black drawer style box with the Puma Football Classics logo there on the top in white. Pull the drawer open and you can see on the inside, they do include a string bag to come along with the shoes. The string bag is black in color on the back side, which is what you see right here. You have a single Puma logo in silver. On the front, you're gonna find your Football Classics logo one more time, also in silver, and then your King SL branding in gold and white there in the bottom left corner. So other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and take a closer look at this very interesting and really high quality release from Puma. So Puma as of late has really been into these limited releases and this one in particular is one of my personal favorites. It is a tribute slash remake of the 2001 version of the Puma King. Now obviously it's not a true remake in that it does have their latest super light or SL sole plate and stud pattern which makes this shoe surprisingly lightweight despite how it may look. More on that a little bit later in the video. But the overall styling, of course, the colorway with the black and white color scheme, the stitching on the actual upper, as well as this very distinctive tongue um, are all elements that were taken from, like I said, that 2001 uh, version of the Puma King that, uh, like I said, they're paying tribute to with this particular release. Now this release retails for $300 US. It's limited to 2001 pairs worldwide. So very few were actually made. But with that being said, they've been available for about a week now and have not since sold out. So if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It's the very first link down below in the description. As long as these things are available, I will have buy it now links on that page, along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you can actually pick up this very interesting, very high quality limited edition release from Puma below its $300 retail price. So again, first link down below in the, in the description if you're interested in a pair for yourself. Act quickly because they won't last long. And in today's video, we're gonna just do a general overview of the shoe. I'm gonna share my opinions on the visuals. Of course, we're gonna talk tech specs, determine whether or not this is a good value, a good collector's item, or just good quality overall, and essentially just go over every aspect of this shoe that you could possibly want to know. So if you wanna learn more, please stick around. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's talk about the visual styling of the Puma King SL Classico. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is a tribute shoe to the 2001 version of the Puma King. Now, I wouldn't say that there is one Puma King in particular that stands out from the rest in terms of having that ultra classic distinctive look. They all had a very, very similar appearance being black predominantly, and then of course having your Puma branding on either side. Uh, this particular colorway, as you guys can see, is pretty much just straight up black and white, so they're going for a very classic vibe, which I think they achieved. The entire upper has a nice shiny finish to the kangaroo leather, which I'm personally a big fan of. Um, it definitely doesn't have that old school vibe um, in the fact that the leather is visibly very, very thin in person. That may not be as obvious uh, in video form or even in the online pictures that you've seen, but in person, it's a very very thin shoe. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Puma King Finale SLs for those that are familiar with those. Uh, they were available a few years ago, but nonetheless, really nice looking shoe. You have the shiny black leather, the shiny white leather in the form of the Puma branding, the black stitching that actually goes across the uh, white Puma branding as well, which I think looks pretty good. You have your gold accent stitching right here, kind of wrapping around the midfoot and heel area of the shoe. You have your KSL, so King SL uh, branding here in white and gold, uh, that very distinctive 2001 Puma King tongue in white with your Puma KSL branding again right there on the front, nothing on the underside, gold stitching there going down the actual leather tongue, black laces, black heel liner, black insole with your Puma King SL branding there one more time. The tips of the laces, as you guys can see, are gold in color, which is a nice little touch. Uh, the white branding from the Puma logo goes all the way back kind of to the top of the heel area. And then of course you do have that one piece sole plate and heel counter in the form of the SL sole plate. So you can see you have the little gold accent here, the cutouts there. So some of that black is actually exposed. Really, really nice looking heel counter. It works well with the design of the overall shoe in my opinion. And then of course a solid white sole plate gold stiffener bar right there in the middle and the tips of the studs are black in color. So again, it really does have a nice combination of modern and classic styling about it. Uh, to me, one of the nicest looking shoes Puma has come out with a lot in a long time. Oh, one last detail to show you guys. They have actually punched out 
kangaroo leather. So you can see the little leather symbol there. It says KL underneath, which again, a nice little touch, lots of little details on this shoe. And while they are $300, it is a very expensive release. Uh, you can get them a little bit under retail. I think that if you're a fan of the Puma King series, or if you're a fan of these ultra classic, but at the same time, very, very modern soccer shoes, something like the Puma King SL Classico is probably going to appeal to you. I'm a really big fan of them. They're really impressive in person, I must say. Uh, but leave your opinions on it down below in the comment section. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why or why not? And that's enough about the looks of the shoe. We're going to move on next to some of the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, I'm really happy with what Puma has done here with this King SL Classical model. But at the same time, it makes me wonder why they didn't give us something more similar to this as the actual Puma King for 2014 or 2015. Uh, the King we got is not a bad shoe by any means, but I think a lot of people, most people I would say, would prefer something like this over what we ended up getting. So as far as what you're getting here with the King SL Classico, it's a very simple design. It's a full kangaroo leather upper. The kangaroo leather itself is quite thin, very soft, really natural feeling, and the quality is just fantastic. It is nicer than what you're gonna find on the current standard modern Puma King model. Um, which like I said is a bit of a shame and it makes me wonder why they didn't include that on the regular King but like I said what you're getting here is absolutely fantastic like I mentioned earlier it reminds me a lot of the Puma King Finale SL in terms of the leather being nice and soft having that really clean classic luxurious shiny finish to it and also being very very thin so as far as stretching is concerned I expect these to stretch quite a fair amount which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video during the on feet portion now of course you do have this fold over tongue that is kind of velcroed over so you can't actually flip it up it stays down uh, a lot of people don't like these fold over tongues because they kind of flip up they're hard to keep down and stuff like that but this actually does have that stitching there specifically to keep this down so it can't actually be up so your laces are going to be covered up by this tongue and again it's more of an old school vibe type of thing rather than something that's actually going to impact the performance central lacing system as you guys can see very interesting stitching pattern here again the same stitching pattern that we saw on that puma king model from 2001 the tongue itself is leather as well it does have some perforations and some actual padding behind it so there is a bit of a backing material more on the tongue than what you're going to find on the rest of the upper um, the gold stitching right there down the middle has a nice little extra detail um, the cut in the heel is pretty much what you're going to find on the regular puma king not too low not too high kind of right there in the middle the heel liner material is a nice padded synthetic leather material so step in comfort is certainly not going to be an issue with this shoe whatsoever uh, the insole is fully removable it features a mesh lining on top Puma King branding as I mentioned earlier and then it's just made from a single layer of this very thin lightweight foam material so not the best insole but it definitely will get the job done and it maintains the nice lightweight profile of the shoe as a whole and then of course you're getting that modern SL sole plate this is uh, really what doesn't make this a standard Puma King from 2001. It makes it extremely lightweight. It's the same SL sole plate that we've seen on several Puma models up until this point. So it does have the one piece heel counter built in with the little cutouts there at the back just to shave a little bit of weight. It's honestly a very similar design to what you're gonna find from the F50 Adi Zero line from Adidas with their sprint frame. Uh, but obviously this is Puma's variation. It's got some decent stiffness to the heel. It's a pretty good thickness of plastic as well, which is something that I like. And then as far as the actual sole plate is concerned, you can see a little bit hopefully on camera, there's some little perforations there in black on the underside, and that's actually a P-back stiffener insert on the actual shoe itself. I'm um, sorry, a nylon, a, a nylon insert on the inside, and then the actual material of the sole plate is P-back, so it's very flexible, but a little bit stiffer in the areas that need it most. You just can't see the layers because they made they went with a solid white plastic as opposed to something translucent like they normally do. Um, and of course, you got that stiffener bar right there in the middle, but nonetheless, it's a very thin sole plate. It's extremely flexible, and at the same time, it's also very, very lightweight, which is the main goal behind this particular design. And as far as that stud pattern is concerned, you can see the studs themselves are kind of rectangular in shape. Um, and uh, they actually work quite well. It's kind of a more of a bladed stud pattern, if anything. You have three studs on either side of the forefoot, one support stud right there in the middle, and then four uh, studs under the heel, as you guys can see. It works really well. It penetrates the ground nicely on firm natural grass plane surfaces. Um, you get plenty of grip when pushing off in pretty much all directions. 
Um, the studs are fairly long and aggressive as far as firm ground stud patterns go. So if you are playing on harder ground, it's probably not the most ideal thing, especially considering how thin the sole plate is. You may run into some issues with stud pressure, but if you're playing on a relatively nice natural grass field, you're going to find that the performance you get from this particular stud pattern, the uh, comfort you get from the sole plate is definitely up to par with everything else as far as high-end models are concerned. And again, it's a nice little inclusion for this kind of remade modern uh, version of the Puma King from 2001. So really happy with the quality, really nice shoe, a little bit expensive, but again, it's a limited edition thing. You're kind of paying for that to a certain extent. If you want to be one of only 2001 people to own a pair of these, it is the price that you have to pay. And like I said, for what you're paying, at least you're getting a really high quality shoe. So no complaints whatsoever regarding the materials used, the build quality, and just the overall finish of the Puma King SL Classico. As far as weight is concerned, I'm really impressed with what Puma was able to achieve with the Puma King SL Classico. So we're going to kind of get the point across that this shoe is much lighter than expected. Instead of comparing it to other lightweight leather shoes, which it seems to be lighter than just about everything else out there right now, I thought I would compare it to the Adidas Messi 10.1, which is one of those shoes that a lot of people buy simply because it's so light. Uh, so for the sake of comparison, both of these shoes are in brand new condition and both in the same size 9 US. So this is a very fair comparison. We'll start off with the Messi 10.1, throw it on the scale, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.35 ounces. So remember that number, pull that off the scale, and we'll throw on the King SL Classico, and you can see that these guys weigh in at 6.4 ounces. So they are essentially the exact same weight as a pair of the Adidas Messi 10.1s, which like I said, is a shoe that sells simply because it is really, really lightweight. It's pretty much weightless on your feet. So if you're looking for something that's gonna provide that same weightless sensation, but at the same time have a full, soft, high quality kangaroo leather upper as opposed to thin synthetics, and that's not to say thin synthetics are bad, but I know a lot of people prefer leather shoes, then the King SL, while it is a limited edition release, while it is very, very expensive, it definitely does have a lot to offer in the performance department, especially if you're looking for something that's gonna have that classic leather feel, but at the same time is gonna be pretty much weightless on your feet. So again, very impressed with what Puma was able to achieve here. And next we'll move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit, and of course, what the sizing is like. All right, so here's a look at the Puma King SL Classicos on feet, and I have to say they fit and feel really, really nice, which shouldn't be too surprising. It's got that super light SL base and then a soft, thin kangaroo leather upper. There definitely is some break in time required with a shoe like this. It does have a tighter than average fit from right out of the box. Um, it's definitely more of a modern shape than I'm sure what you would have found on the 2001 version of the Puma King. And a lot of that is down to the sole plate itself. It does have a bit of that pointed toe shape, but overall they're just really, really comfortable right out of the box. And if you did want to wear these straight into a game, you really shouldn't have any issues. The leather is soft, it's flexible, and once you start to wear these in, it'll stretch and form to the exact shape of your foot and just make the shoe feel that much more comfortable. As far as the width is concerned, like I mentioned, it is a little bit tighter than average as far as um, leather shoes are concerned. It does have a slimmer profile about it, as you guys can see, and that slightly pointed toe. So there definitely is a decent amount of width in the midfoot area, whereas the forefoot and toe box especially, I would say is a little bit narrower. So it will be suitable for most people after break-in time. But if you have really wide feet, this probably isn't the best option for you, but it's not too big of a deal anyways, because like I said, this is a limited edition release. So most people won't get their hands on them anyways. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here, and the the fit in the length is pretty good. It is very, very tight fitting. Again, the toe box is quite narrow, but once they're actually broken in, it gives the leather a chance to stretch. I would say that going true to size is the best thing to do if you want them to fit properly after break-in time. If you want something that is perhaps a little bit more roomy, you could safely go a half size up. But for me personally, and if you're looking for a snug fit after break-in, I would definitely recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. All right, guys, this is it for my review of the Puma King SL Classico Limited Edition. Only 2001 pairs worldwide. It is a bit of a shame that not everybody's going to get the chance to pick these up, especially considering they are $300 shoes. They are quite expensive. But as far as the actual package is concerned, it's a really nice looking shoe, in my opinion. I love the kangaroo leather upper. It's very, very comfortable on feet. It is shockingly lightweight. It's got a good traction pattern, if you ask me. And as a package, like I said, this is just a very, very 
good shoe either as a collector's item or as something that you actually want to wear out there on the field. Has all the performance elements you could possibly want from a modern day kangaroo leather soccer shoe and again Puma just did a really really good job with it overall. There's not going to be a full written review on my website or anything like that but if you want to check out the review page on my site it'll be the very first link down below in the description. You'll find the high quality images of this shoe that I took myself that'll give you a better idea as to some of the close-up details that you might not see in the online stock photos and of course you will find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you will be able to pick these up below their 300 retail price while they're still available again only 2001 pairs worldwide so if you're interested in them pick them up while you can because once they're gone they will be gone for good um, other than that though guys if you have any questions suggestions or any kind of comments at all leave those down below in the comment section i definitely will get an answer out to you if you enjoyed today's video found it helpful and informative be sure to support it with a like that would be greatly appreciated subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching